Sophie Bảo Trân và Jonathan Fan. Xin, Xin kính chào quý vị. Chào mừng quý vị đến với chương trình The Top Entertainment Report. Did your hair grow out? Mm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hi, and thanks for watching the Top Entertainment Report, where you can find the latest in music, movie, fashion, and celebrity news on SBTN Fridays, 8.30 a.m. and 8.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time and Saturdays, 7.30 a.m. Eastern Time. Vâng, cảm ơn quý vị đã luôn luôn theo dõi chương trình The Top Entertainment Report trên đài SBTN mỗi thứ sáu, 8 giờ rưỡi sáng và 8 giờ rưỡi tối giờ Cali và thứ bảy, 7 giờ rưỡi sáng Eastern Time. So, Sophie, what happened in the entertainment world this last weekend? Well, Christian Bale nearly cried, Johnny Depp wailed alongside the Black Keys, and Kristen Stewart made out with herself. What? What has this world come to? What is going on? Where did this happen? Well, everyone saw these moments take place at the 2012 MTV Movie Awards on Saturday night at the Gibson Amphitheater. Well, it's not as classy as the Academy Awards, but the MTV Movie Awards do tend to be more fun. Well, host Russell Brand will no doubt add a funny flavor to the award show. But the real attractions were the performances by Wiz Khalifa and the Black Keys to offset that loss in terms of excitement. We expect Twilight and Hunger Games to dominate the proceedings. And will Johnny Depp actually show up to win his MTV Generation Award? Also, Sophie, what are some highlights that you remember most about the MTV Movie Awards? Well, on the top of my head, I am... Um, uh, <sighs> what is it? You can't mm. remember anything? No, I do. It's just that there's this one specific memory that is kind of distracting and is preventing me to think of any other important mem memories of the show. All right, well then let's, uh, let's start off with that one just to get it out of the way then. What is it? Mm. Oh. oh, well my favorite moment was when Magic Mike star Joe Mangelino shirtless and clad in a fireman's outfit along with Channing Tatum and Matthew McConaughey were on stage. They were just so handsome. What's so handsome about them? Well, they have really, they have really nice eyes and, and strong personalities. Sophie, you're so boy crazy. It's not just me. All the girls love them, okay? Who else? Prove it. <laughs> well, even celebrities can't stand it. While accepting her award, Best On-Screen Transformation, Elizabeth Banks' acceptance speech was more like a uh, acceptance lap dance. <laughs> she couldn't get enough of them. The lucky lady had three buff hunks to present her. Matthew McConaughey, Channing Tatum, and True Blood's Joe Mangelino. Oh yeah, that's right. I didn't really notice because that's how girls are to me. They can't get enough of my muscles. So, so other than muscles, <clears throat> what else happened at the MTV Movie Awards? Well, Emma Stone took home the Trailblazer Award. The video tribute to the Amazing Spider-Man star from the likes of Anna Faris, Jim Carrey, Steve Carell, and Jason Sudeikis was hilarious and wisely poked fun at the somewhat ill-defined award concept. Emma Stone, you are a true trailblazer in the most trailblaziest sense of the word. Emma Stone is a once-in-a-lifetime talent and, and a once-in-a-lifetime friend. Emma Stone, pure magic. Sharon Stone is one of the greatest actresses alive today. This is about Emma Stone. Who? She was your co-star. In the house, Bunny. Yeah, but I like Sharon Stone. <laughs> All right, Jason, we're on. Oh. 
I think Emma is a powerful performer and an exceptional human being. Very sweet. Do you know why Emma Watson was bummed? She was bummed? Oh, I think it's because she probably didn't get to meet the three hot guys from Magic Mike. No. No, the 22-year-old actress may have moved on from the Harry Potter franchise that made her a star, but the gal never forgets her roots. Hmm. After handing over the golden popcorn for best male performance to Hunger Games star Josh Hutcherson, who beat out Harry Potter boy wizard Daniel Radcliffe for the win, Watson nearly crumbled into a handler's arms backstage. So she wanted her ex co star to win, right? Was she feeling like she'd betrayed the hero of Hogwarts? It was just kind of awkward. Yeah, it was. But right after this brief moment, Emma Watson was looking especially lovely, especially opposite presenters Jessica Biel and Cake Beckinsale to accept the award for best cast. Great, so Harry Potter got the award for best cast. Who else were the big winners this year? Well, as expected, it was The Hunger Games and Breaking Dawn, taking home the top prizes. The Hunger Games, Joss Hutcherson collected the trophy for best fight alongside co-star Alexander Ludwig. Josh said, I've wanted to hold up golden popcorn since I was like four years old. This is incredible. <laughs> Josh Hutcherson also wins best male performance over Ryan Gosling and Joseph Gordon-Levitt. Granted, Hutcherson did a good job as Peter Millark in the games. And no doubt he is a humble young actor with a bright future. But he's nowhere near Gosling and Gordon-Levitt. Yet. I saw Kristen Stewart sitting in the audience and she was not that happy. Why was she worried? Like, what was she worried about, really? Mmm. Well, first of all, Snow White and the Huntsman's Kristen Stewart and Liam Hemsworth take the stage as Kristen accepts the award for Best Female Performance on behalf of Hunger Games star Jennifer Lawrence. <laughs> That's a little awkward. It's okay, Kristen. You win the award next year, hopefully. Good luck. And why else did she not look happy? Well, second of all, K. Stu didn't have any interest in winning the best kiss four years in a row. Especially considering that co-star Robert Pattinson was not even there. Hmm. Off promoting a new film rather than kicking it at the Gibson with her. But when she did. And once on stage, with no lips to smooth in the grand tradition of best kiss winners, Stewart implored co-stars like Charlize Theron and Taylor Lautner to join her and do the deed. Shockingly, shockingly, no one took her up on the offer. She ended up pretending to make out with herself. The crowd loved it, but Kristen wasn't sure. Once backstage, Stewart leaned towards a rep and with a nervous smile asked, how was it? Was it okay? Ow! Why, Sophie? Why did you do that for? Cuz? You were like trying to kiss me and that's just gross. I was trying to tell you a secret. Oh, oops, that's, that's awkward. My bad. Well, okay, what were you trying to tell me? We're so Bren likes little kids. What? No, 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 not in that way. Oh. The Knights MC had a long standing plan with Rock of Ages stars, oh. Julianne Hugh and Diego Boneta to interrupt a commercial break and promote their upcoming rock musical. But Hugh, whose boyfriend, Ryan Seacrest, couldn't make it to the show, instead brought her elementary school-aged nephew, leading Bran to come up with a wacky bit of improv. To the folks watching at home, it seemed like it was pre-planned for Bran to be kneeling down and asking the little boy to take over his hosting duties. But it all came together in a matter of minutes, thanks to Bran. So how was Russell Brand as a host though? He was such a funny character in movies, but I'm not sure how he is as an award show host, you know what I mean? Yeah, Russell Brand definitely set the tone for the funny but awkward show this year. Hunger Games, Twilight, these were the words host Russell Brand used to win over the crowd right away as the host of the 2012 MTV Movie Awards. Despite no doubt reading from cue cards, Brand knows how to keep a certain amount of self-deprecating improv at hand. 
He did reference his own short-lived marriage, but thanked Kim Kardashian for having an even shorter union. Brand also referenced John Travolta, Prometheus star Michael Fassbender, and a fit-looking Charlie Sheen. Speaking of him, Charlie Sheen was chosen to introduce Project X's win for Instant Cult Classic, which was more than appropriate. Sheen readily admitted that his whole life has been a party movie. <laughs> that's awesome. And ain't that the truth also. In addition, it seems as though Johnny Depp wants a band. As he said after the performance, when multiple people suggested that he ditch acting and fully embrace music, he said... I need a band. I don't have a band. Aerosmith frontman Steve Tyler didn't seem to care. <laughs> Telling Depp in the keys, you the bomb. <laughs> well, 10 Aerosmith members Steven Tyler and John Perry introduced Johnny Depp's win for the MTV Generation Award. The accompanying montage of Depp's movies reinforced the point that the chameleonic actor has really done it all from the biggest movies. In his acceptance speech, he claims that receiving this award is kind of like getting a get out of the business award because he's done it all. Well, it looks like it's time for him to move to a new category, music. Then after that, Johnny Depp then took to the stage with the Black Keys performing their single, Gold on the Ceiling. It was pretty exciting seeing Captain Jack Sparrow himself on the rhythm guitar opposite frontman Pat Cummings. Wow, what a happy moment for Johnny Depp. But for others, the night was not just all laughs, but some tears as well, especially for the Dark Knight crew. Gary Oldman, Christian Bale, Joseph Gordon-Levitt. That talented trio introduced clips from the previous Batman films, and an emotional bail praised the late Heath Ledger's performance in The Dark Knight before an exuberant Gordon-Levitt introduced well-just director Christopher Nolan to the stage. One of the highlights of the evening was the new footage from the movie that Nolan showed. All right, don't touch that remote. We'll be right back after the commercial break. Vâng thưa quý vị, xin vui lòng giữ màn hình với chương trình The Top Entertainment Report sẽ trở lại sau vài thông tin thương mại.